This is Indira Lysram from Good Day TV. We have with us today Sachin Garg, founder of Sachin Garg Catering. We're going to ask Sachin some of his recipes for success. You've been a third generation hotelier. You've worked in India and in London. Did you find this a natural calling? Yes, uh, very much this was a natural calling. I've been uh, seeing this all my life uh, as a third generation hotelier. Uh, always in the blood to, to create something do it with love and care and make it happen with the best possible resources and you know that's all I could do with my hands-on job I was not you know cut out to be an accountant or a doctor or something just to become a chef and do something which I love. When did you decide to become a chef? Oh, I remember very distinctively when I first went into the kitchen of a Hyatt in Delhi and I saw this big kitchen and you know big chefs with big hats, white dresses and you know chef's hats, beautiful chopping boards and you know the speed and the intensity of the whole thing. It was absolutely fantastic and I thought to myself yes this is somewhere I want to be. But then after some time you know you come to the reality and it is very hard work, anti-social hours and you really have to work hard and initially it is not a job where you get thanked very easily. You have to really work hard. So I got around it and once I did, yes, I thought that's it. That's I can you know I can do it well. People told me I can do it well. Yes. I did it. Uh, you're into modernized catering of food. Tell us all about it. When I came to this industry and I came out of India and I realized that people just realized that Indian food was more of you know dinners. Which I don't agree to because today we want Indian food to be a healthy version. We use minimal oil which we have to, a lot of you know, new healthy facilities and uh, practices which we are we using. So I wanted to implement it in the boardroom. I want to tell people that the food can be eaten in, on your you know, uh, director's meeting or your office lunch or you know, it is part of your daily life. Not just the weekend dinner or not just Friday night. It's not comfort food, it is healthy food as well. Would you say that your food is different from the rest of the Indian fare that is offered in the other restaurants here? The way I cook it is definitely different. It is more healthier way. We use top quality meat and you know cuts and all that. We are not worried about uh, you know, the cost of things. It comes to the quality. It comes down to making sure people do understand what is chicken dansak or you know chicken methi or chicken and spinach, these are the iron and vitamins and proteins and you know, so that's what I'm trying to promote, yeah, so that's what the new phase of Indian food will be soon. What is your signature dish? Chicken methi, which is cooked with yogurt and coriander and it is medium to hot and it is something you would not find in a lot of places and uh, the masses love it, people love it. Uh, what cooking or chef inspires you? I really enjoy cooking my tandoori different. I try to try, uh, try a lot of tandoori different recipes and meats and seafood in the tandoor. And yes, Arun Chauhan is one chef who's definitely inspired me and he has taught me the way and he's shown me the way. So he's one reason I'm here and you know, I've taken it up so seriously. Have you cooked for anybody famous? Yes, we've cooked for Max Walker a few times. We do it for uh, CSIRO. We've done it for Melbourne University, Department of Human Resources. Uh, we've done it for uh, Laurent Bakery Group. We do it very often for them. Uh, Ron Walker is also a regular client here. Yeah, we keep on doing it for them. They come and go. Yeah, it's, this is a good part about it. You meet a lot of you know, celebrities in this uh, field and that's good part, yeah. Sachin Gurk Catering is today on an expansion mode. As you said, you have future projects as well. Can you tell us more about it? Yes, uh, we got a little thing in the age. This Epicure wrote about us, that how we are doing things, making our food, uh, boardroom debutant. And we are trying to make sure, yeah, that people understand that what is the idea behind it. And uh, we are expanding because we've got a lot of uh, people who worry about, who are not worried about the cost, but they are concerned about quality. Those type of people who come to us, you know, they want to eat good food, healthy food, and which is of course full of taste and love and care, you know, that's what it boils down to. What is the one ingredient that you can't do without? Love and care about the food. 
you know it's that's all it is you know everybody can cook food as but your product will look different once you have got the concern for it you know the care and love you know that's only when things turn out to be different you know if you can't do it without it then might as well not do it you cook so much do you also go back home and cook as well my wife does a lot of cooking at home she does the most of the cooking she claims to be a better chef too <laughs> and when you go out to restaurants what kind of food do you order or do you even go to restaurants yes i all all for it i'm in the industry i'm for the industry i want people to grow i want myself to grow i want the industry to grow as you know as a team together so yes there are new restaurants which come up in the market i go out try their food there are a lot of things which i learn from them you know it is no doubt about it this in this trade you cannot learn enough how do you take time to unwind yourself unwind i like to watch the news at 10:30 at night i like to read my paper an indian you know hindi film now and then every second day and yeah i like to go for long walks that what keeps me going and uh, what is your advice to budding chef don't worry about money money is go money and fame is going to come to you once you do whatever you do with passion so make sure whatever you do put a lot of passion in it put a lot of love and care and make sure that you go for the right quality don't worry about the quantity quantity and money and that is going to come to you do the right thing that is the more important thing do the right thing that was sachin garg some food for thought today